Hey guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. We are watching a little Monday Night Football here on September. Bum, 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 bum. There he is, Mr. Monday Night, George himself. <laughs> uh, it's the 9th of September. We're going to do some autographed football jerseys in honor of the return to Monday Night Football. Uh, we've got two cases of TriStar Game Day Greats. We are going to open the jerseys, reveal them, type them into our spreadsheet. We're going to take all your names. Let me show you everyone in this break. We're going to randomize your names for our draft order, and we're going to pick the jerseys fantasy draft style. We got Tony. Vilsent has four spots. Thomas and Nathaniel. Bill me. El Ray and Luke are the participants. So uh, there you go, guys. What's up, Jager, Jagger, Jager? Here's case one. Ugh. Show that on the camera. I'm going to open this on my chair. Wow. How about that? Because it's big, George. You've been doing all right, buddy? It's Jagger, right? Jagger. I can't remember, so I just got all three. Jagger, Jagger, Jagger. Yeah, Jagger. I got him covered. <laughs> oh, God, Jagger. Woo, it's cold in here. It ain't cold, it's George. Yeah. yeah, I guess I should go stand that, outside. That, that, that a lot of, lot of paper. George likes that. He likes to play what? with it. Yeah, one, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, Three four. four. Shut the door. Five. I'm going to wait for six. There you go. Watson back in, but no clarification on the issue. Didn't he get, he land hard on the he ground? Got, Maybe he had an upset stomach. Yeah. Bumped his knee. All right. Case two. Ooh, my tackle. Ooh. How's everybody doing on a Monday night? There you go. <laughs> you look like Vanna. Vanna? No, you don't look like Vanna. But I wish I looked like Vanna. I just stay home all the time. I'm not sure that would look. I think that would be weird if you look like Vanna. Okay, so this makes... I don't know what it makes. There you go. Six and seven. Eight and nine. Go to heaven. Eight and nine. Eight. Spin your spine. Ten. Ten. Always got to win. There you go. Here's Johnny. Doing good, Red Mug. What's up, Dennett? Got my jacket on. It's 66 degrees in here. Trying to warm up a little bit. Let's see what we got. And we're going to open some jerseys. This is always fun. Because unlike the cards, I never know what's going to come out of here. I mean, I know all the cards are coming out, but the jerseys, I just don't have any idea. I bet jerseys come out. Probably. All right, here we go. Free priority shipping on these guys. Of course. They'll ship, we'll ship your cards with them as well. Love the color. My favorite color jersey. This is going to be Mark Rippon from the Redskins. Mark Rippon played quarterback for 12 years, two-time Pro Bowler, two-time Super Bowl champion, and a Super Bowl MVP, Jorge. Doesn't he have a son in the he does. A freshman this year? I mean, not a freshman, a rookie this year. Yeah, he was a nephew. He was a, uh, over at month at Denver, and he takes that in. Correct, uh, Rippon. Got some, maybe I'll catch on somebody. This is a Redskins jersey, JSA authenticated. Cool-looking jersey. It is. Great color. There is your authentication. And let's see that auto. Ooh, inscribed. Super Bowl MVP. Super Bowl 26. That's cool. Nice auto. Number 11 for the Redskins. Love it. Nice. Right. All right, next up, jersey number two. Uh, Daryl, yeah, here's here's our deal on that. We didn't get the email from the other guy, right? Yeah, we didn't, but Daryl, we, uh, 
one company policy that we're probably going to do, and that's why we have the trading post, is anytime somebody buys something from us, uh, we always make sure that we get the product out to them. You know, it's our responsibility to ship to him. Um, we'd probably be better off if you guys sent those to each other when you got them. Um, and we'll explain that more later. After the break, if you have any questions, uh, we'll, we'll email you back. Uh, by the way, look at this. Oh, man, it's cool. Great. Rest in peace, Y.A. Tittle. That is awesome. Seven-time Pro Bowler. 71. Pro Football Hall of Fame. And the reason is we never want someone to say, I didn't get my cards. Or we don't want someone to make a deal with someone else and... Say, hey, I made a trade. Dynasty didn't get me the cards that we traded for. So it kind of puts the responsibility on us to make the trade for you guys, um, which is something we kind of want to stay away from, uh, especially since we have the trading post. So And it's not on any specific person. No, no, no. It's just that we, unfortunately, we have had that kind of thing happen before. Not that you guys would do it at all. We, we didn't, and it's just a matter of, how do we protect ourselves on this? So check this out. We got the air out of this, and that is a cool jersey. You know what? I bet you he played far enough back that he had an angle. Probably didn't. JSA, another JSA authentic jersey. I guess I did right. So. Y A Tittle, inscribed. How do you spell his first name? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there goes the reason why you go with the Y. That is sweet. Very nice. Don't be mad at us, Daryl. We hope you guys understand. Yeah, it's always a struggle for us because we don't mind doing that. It's just that uh, when someone turn when someone takes that and uses it against us, not you, Daryl, not Daniel. You can tell we feel bad about it. We just don't know how to handle it. And especially if the mail... Th there is a package lost every now and then. And I would hate for, you know, a trade to not go through because of the post office or something. And and would rather you guys uh, handle all that stuff. Amari Cooper, Dallas Cowboys autographed wow, jersey. This, cool. this case is good so far. How'd they get... How did they get a jersey that fast? I know. Uh, this came out right after the uh, deal, I think. Wow. There you go. Amari Cooper. Caught a touchdown yesterday. Looks like a throwback style, Cowboys. Also, JSA. Usually, uh, TriStar authenticates a lot of these. Seen a lot of JSA in this case. Amari Cooper. It's going to be a tough draft, man. Amari that Cooper. That is very cool. James Spence authentication. I like you. There you go. I don't know what I'm doing, Billy. Really. <laughs> I'm a reading chat. Thanks for understanding, Daryl. Yeah, we used to do that stuff, and, and that's when the trading post was sort of born um, for you guys. I might want to cut the correct side. I might help. Yeah. Elray needs that to complete his uh, Cowboys collection, possibly. Yep, we did. Luke. Did you, you saw it right thing with the email on his insurance? Oh, I did, Luke. We'll get that out. Yep. You did it fine, man. Perfect. Oh, what the heck? Woo! We're gonna go have a party with this jersey. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna wear it around town. What does that mean? Whoa! Johnny Football, A <laughs> and M jersey. Gotta love it though, man. This is cool. Johnny Manziel jersey. That is cool. First freshman to win the Heisman. If you wear this jersey, you can drink whatever you want, say whatever you want. And they may not, they may not love him everywhere, but but they love him down at College Station. They do, oh, College yeah. Station legend. Let me get the, uh, let me get the uh, authentication out of the way, guys.
Nice jersey. Look at this thing. Also, JSA. All these are JSA. I've not seen a case where they all are yet. That is sweet. Silver Ink Auto. Back in Tyler living with his dad. Is that what he, about? Is that Manzel we're talking about? Ede. Yeah. That's cool, man. There you go. <laughs> That's. I'm not sure I'm going to repeat that, Mandy. <laughs> you know, I'm afraid I might get in trouble. If I yeah. said it out loud. Uh, Mandy, that I have family that lives in White House, and uh, that's what I had heard about um, his family. Ooh. What's up, Bob? Levitating. Yeah. <laughs> Robert wants to know if that jersey smells like bad decisions. It probably <laughs> does. <laughs> that's a good line. Can I use that later sometime? Wow, that's pretty funny. <laughs> His family is mafia around here. That's the part I didn't want to say out loud. Wow. I was afraid somebody might listen to that. And, and take you out. Take me out. Make me a deal I can't refuse. Oh, man, this is cool. This guy is on the uptick. His uh, sports cards are on the uptick as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. George Kittle. What a great case. George Kittle. Single. I'm telling you, last year, 17, you could have gotten his... Rookie cards for nothing. I know. And I think I have like five or six rookie ticket George Kittles. I thought, <laughs> I, thought I hope you do because I thought I did, and I went back and looked through every card, and I don't have it. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Uh, here we go. Let me get the air out of this one as well. I think they're going for like 50 bucks or something like that. Yeah, I know. $60. It's kind of crazy. 49ers. I know Vilson's a 49ers fan, I think. Kittle. JSA again. Man, these cases are hot. Wilson says that one needs to come home. Silver Ink Auto is your authentication as well. George Kittle. All right. First case is down. One more to go. Yeah. Only thing bad about Kittle is his first name is stupid. <laughs> You know what I mean, George? Yeah. You didn't mean the father of Rock <laughs> Hey, Charlie, what's up? Over in Facebook. Charlie just kind of floats back and forth. He goes both ways. He's, boy, he's turned into a player, hasn't he? Yeah, he's really good receiver. Really good receiver. <laughs> woo! We got a woo, too? Pretty jersey. Pretty jersey. Wow, I like this. Warren Moon, Hall of Famer, 2006 class. Number one jersey, retired by the Titans. And a nine-time Pro Bowler. Always enjoyed watching Warren Moon. There it is. Old Oilers jersey. Moon over Miami. And great signature. Ooh. Look at that. Hall of Fame 2006. This one is TriStar authenticated, so this case uh, does not appear to be all JSA, like the last one. The last one had a theme going on. That is also Warren Moon authenticated, by the way. There Pretty we go. cool. Very cool. That bright color is yours. Yeah. Yeah. He is a stud. He's a good football player, too, Vincent. You know what I mean? Uh, right, Amanda? Woo! Funny. All right, next up. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny? This is so funny. This would have been such a huge hit about a month and a half ago. Let me think about who's changed, what's changed in a month and a half. Oh, oh my gosh. I... I still, I, I, yeah. <laughs> this is a cool, this is a throwback style jersey, too. This is so cool. Steelers fans, it's still a Steelers jersey. I know you guys don't like him, but. Uh, they got to get rid of those, right? <laughs> very I, nice. I, I think that's still probably in big demand. I, I, I'm I, sorry, this design is really cool. Is it's that the a, Bumblebee? It's the Bumblebee. Wow. The numbers, this is great for a signed jersey.
Now, well, if I can seal this bag, guys, just give me a second. Let George and Billy work on sealing that all the way. There you go. Antonio Brown, JSA authenticated. <laughs> yeah. Highland, I'll be interested to see where that one goes. Brown and Manziel, baby. <laughs> no real said. comparison there, obviously. Silver Ink Auto, Old Bumblebee. <laughs> you guys are funny. Robert says another one that smells like a bad decision. And, wow. and Bill says, too bad it's not a helmet. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's funny. That's good. I'm just going to put Steelers Bumblebee. That'll be the description. It is. I mean, that, you're right. A month and a half ago, that would have been seriously in demand. That's our second one that we've got. The last one was, it went really high. He was already a Raider, I think, when we got it the first time, but. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I can't remember. We did get one of those, though. I think we did. Yeah. Maybe it was Le'Veon. We got a Bumblebee. Maybe it was Le'Veon. I don't remember. I don't know. We may have gotten it. I don't remember Bumblebee, but I remember it. Oh, this is very popular in the in these neck of the woods, guys. In these neck. Sean Lee. Okay. Dallas Cowboys. There you go. Very popular fan favorite. That is a textbook fan favorite jersey. Very nice. Series 2 comes out Friday of this product, guys. Series 2. They will have more current players in that product than they've had in any of these uh, series before. And it's already on the website. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ten spots Friday night. Sean Lee. Oh, that's cool. That is a thick jersey. Thing's heavy. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, show the auto, so I'm going to have to get in here, George. Daryl said Lee is... is uh, PSU too, so he's popular around here. Good deal. Oh, yeah. Except when he plays the Eagles. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think he's going to be a, a coach eventually. Yeah, I'm Sean Lee, Silver Ink. There is your autograph. JSA authenticated. Sorry, guys, it's not folded exactly uh, properly here. Bilson said it was brown. He got that jersey. It was a, it was Bumblebee. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if it's Bumblebee, but he did get the brown jersey. All right, two more, guys. Two more. Okay, Daryl. Sorry about that, man. We never like to disappoint anybody. We always want to give you guys the answer. Um that you want. I would just, we're just, at, if something happened, we would be responsible, you know, so. Um, I'm probably going to speak out of school, but something happened and it cost us 600 bucks, so. Yeah, we've had some. So it, was, that, it has nothing to do with anybody that's here. Ooh, this is senior, not junior, I want to be clear. Senior. Kellen Winslow, <laughs> Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2010. He is not in the pokey. They don't have any uh, prison Jersey. No, they don't have a prison jersey. Whoa. That's wrong. Whoa. I didn't say that, by the way. Whoa, I didn't either. I didn't say mafia hey. either. What? First time I haven't oh, said like something it. offensive. Like yeah. Who folded these, by the way? I don't know. I need to show them how to do this. I don't understand why they put them. I mean, they could make the box just a little bit bigger, couldn't they? They fit in there fine when you pull them. But when you, once you pull Ooh. them out. You ever pulled one out? No. Oh. Look at this. How cool looking is that? Old school Chargers. Woo! Nice signature. Hall of Fame in 95. That is TriStar Authenticated. This is going to be a good draft. Now, does, does the Chargers have any jerseys that look bad? They no. Have all their jerseys they they, they have some cool looking jerseys. There's no doubt about the that. The Powder Blues are the best in the yeah. business. I'm not I'm not a huge Chargers fan one way or the other. But their, their blues, jerseys blues, blues, really blues. look good. Hopkins touched in. Really? I'm catching up with Walter. Walter, who had John Ross, Deshaun Jackson, and Sammy Watkins in the best ball. That's crazy. <laughs> Come on. Seriously? Like 84,000 touchdowns. Because you know John team. Ross is always going to have a big week. I mean, night. I'm, I'm glad for the guy. but I'm going to catch you, Walter. 
Oh, Steelers fans will love this. Fan favorite, Dermani Dawson. The big man, seven-time Pro Bowler, made it to the Hall of Fame in 2012. Dermani Dawson. Those are like game show cards that come out of these. I really like it. I feel like I know everything when so, I have those. Hey, thanks for joining us today. NFL's 99 All-Decade Team Super Bowl 30 appearance. Pittsburgh Steelers all-time team. Pittsburgh Steelers number six. I feel 16. like Alex no Trebek issue. when I have that. What? I feel like Alex Trebek when I have I that. I know. Did you know his number 63 is no longer issued? What is no longer issued? Or wait, what is number 63? His jersey number. What is no longer issued? Oh, I got you. Ha! That's so, it. there you go. Steelers for life inscription. Look at that. He took a little extra time. Steelers for life, Hall of Fame 2012. Where's the signature? Oh, there it is. Three levels. There's your signature. There's your Hall of Fame. And there's your Steelers for life. What's up, Byron? Yeah, this is <laughs> sick. Oh, and uh, got to point this out. Don't like to take these out, guys. Whoa! It's got oh, yeah. Pro Bowl selection. It's got uh, career accomplishments here. That's yeah. on the jersey. It's on the jersey. Wow, that's a lot of lot of uh, sewing. That's a legit jersey. That you forget. Or embroidering, or whatever the word is. You like that Cy Young, don't you, Mark? It's a sweet card. What's up, Mark? Are you playing with Cy Young? You can't really play with Cy Young. Man, give that to your grandkids. I'm serious. That is a uh, that's an amazing piece of history. All right, here we go. Um, let's go to random.org. That's it. That's well, we got to decide our draft order. That's it. I mean, that's all we got. That's, all the jerseys. That, those were some really great. Ten great two jerseys. good cases. We got more on Friday. Series two releases on Friday. Brand new. Um, actually, it releases Wednesday, but we're going to do it Friday. Uh, I'm going to roll the dice. If we roll a 10, since there's 10 people in here, uh, we're going to give away $5 site credit to the last pick in the draft. There is no site credit for this one. We had a sale on it instead, guys. So here we go. Oh, I missed it. By one. 11 times on the random. That will be our draft order. Not a bad jersey in the bunch, as far as I'm concerned. Here we go. There are your hits, Rippin down to Dermani Dawson. And here are the names. We're going to go to random.org. We're going to go 11 times, and that will be your draft order. If you want to trade, we will give you two minutes to trade before we start the draft. You can trade two picks for one. Uh, you can trade PayPal plus your pick to move up the board. Uh, we don't have anything to do with the money. That's between you guys. But uh, here we go, 11 times, then we'll give you a minute to trade. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the eleventh and final time for our draft order. Good luck. We have Vilsent down to Thomas, and Vilsent with the first two picks in the draft. Wow. Vilsent down to Thomas P.I.R. Copy those. That is 11 times on the random. Make sure I got those guys. Copy your names back to our list. And we will paste this in. All right, guys, go ahead and talk trade amongst yourselves. And uh, we'll give you just a, about a minute or two if you want to try to talk someone into uh, making a move. I'm going to get our uh, spreadsheet fixed up here. All right, there it is. Uh, one minute, guys. We'll be right back.
All right, guys. Uh, we had one uh, request from Vincent, and, it, and uh, Bill's going to pass on it. So um, if there's nothing else, let's get going. Vincent, you are on the clock. If somebody, if for some reason later down the road, you know, in the draft, somebody wants to change or something and it hadn't already happened, obviously – you guys can do that. But at right at this point in time, it's going to stay like it is. And guys uh, that are watching, just make sure you guys don't affect the draft. Don't say anything that might affect the draft. Uh, Vincent, you're on the clock for two. Now Vincent has decisions to make. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a slam dunk easy for him or... You are on All right, I'll type these in to let you guys know in case the video is a little behind. Our chat will be live no matter where you are in the video, should be. Guys, we've, we've got uh, certified football uh, coming up tiered random, so you get two teams, and there's six spots left in that. That's scheduled to break at 745 when this is over, about 13 minutes from now. So assuming we get it sold out by that time, we should be right about on time. And then we've got eight spots left in the Dynasty Baseball Box Busting Bonanza. That's probably a better name. Still sucks. Yeah. But anyhow, it's very cool. Read the description, uh, the details. It's a kind of a cool way of doing something that, you know, just... Uh, it's like you're buying personal boxes, yeah. but we're randoming for which ones you get. And we're giving away a Fernando Tatis autographed bat. Oh, yeah, that's important. That is a black Rawlings bat with silver ink authenticated by Beckett. Somebody in the break wins that. Somebody in the break also wins a free spot and also certified. You can win two free teams. Uh, we're giving away a free spot in both of the next two breaks. Yeah. So, Vincent, you are up, man. Vincent left and went outside. He's it's, cheering. It's still it's still daytime over there. Could be a little behind. I don't know if he is or not. There he is, George Little. So he does not want the George Kittle. No, he's saying you're little. He wants the George Little. He says you're little, George. <laughs> George Kittle goes with the first pick. Autocorrect. Yep. <laughs> but it made sense. We all understood it. Ah. Huh. So, who's up next? Vilson up next. Oh, Vilson, there you go. You said you said that George Kittle needed to come home to you, Vilson, and he did. Well, hadn't the Saints done something? Who got the second touchdown for? Oh, he's, oh, he's. <clears throat> I think there's a kid stuck. No, I got Thomas. You have Thomas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is a, so. Oh, uh, no, Scraps had it. Yeah. Scraps had it. That's very loud. Vincent on the clock for pick number two. <clears throat> Perhaps a little tougher. Dawson. Dermani Dawson jersey. Mr. Very cool. Mr. Steeler, congratulations. Thanks, Randy. Vilson. Congrats on that. George Kittle, Dermani Dawson going first and second. And bill me for the third pick. Bill me on the clock. We did not get a Jets jersey for Bill, but uh, he'll have to compromise. Big Jets fan. Not airplanes, George. Did, did his fleet get grounded or something? Yeah, yeah. Is that what it was? Warren Moon. Nice. Warren Moon going to Bill. Moon over the Jets. That doesn't make any sense. Never Congrats, mind. Congrats, Bill. Nice jersey there. This is a great break. Really, two of the best uh, cases we've had. Got a, all five JSA authenticated in one case. That's the first time we've had that happen. Uh, Luke, I am your father, and uh, also you're on the clock. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Did you deal a bad beat tonight? Kind of wanted Manziel. I understand. I... <laughs> that would have been funny to hang up in your living room. People would be like, what? 
that would I mean, start a lot of conversation for an A and M fan. That would be a oh, yeah. knockout conversation starter, man. Vilson was thinking about that one too. <laughs> no game tonight, huh? Ryan and Facebook at home watching soap operas. Uh, next homework. up is uh, I already typed it in, didn't I? Yep. Luke. Yeah, I did. Okay. Luke. 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 Yeah. What? What? Oh, why? <laughs> okay. I guess. I was, would you just yeah. type it all the way just to confirm? He I know it's a tittle. All right. Uh, rest in peace. He typed YA. Yeah, yeah. Y A Tittle <laughs> going to Luke. Uh, one of the great giants of all time. El Ray, son of Molly. There you go, El Ray on the clock. The good news is I don't think there's a bad pick in here. No, there's not. El Ray has made decisions in the Cooper. And yes, why thanks. I knew that's what the first I would just say thought you were answering us. So El Ray has taken Amari Cooper. El Ray got his jersey he wanted. El Ray probably dancing around the room as we speak. There you go, El Ray. Nice dance, El Ray. The YA for Clark and Amari Cooper for El Ray. Cooper at five. And we got Tony Hobb up at six. Tony. Tony Hobb. What you got, Tony Hobb? Hell yes, El Ray said. <laughs> Congrats, El Ray. He's taking the Antonio Bumblebee Brown. Very Ooh. unique jersey, man. Ooh. Very unique. Everybody's got cool jerseys. These are cool jerseys. Antonio Brown for Tony H. All right, Tony. Antonio Brown is yours. Tony taking and Tony. Um, next up, going to be Vilsent back to back again. What's up, Panda? Okay, he's taking the Manziel and the Winslow. Nice. Pardon? Manziel and Winslow. And that okay. is the exactly Winslow. Is that is Winslow Senior. Just to oh, be clear. Bilson. Both of them, Bilson. Yep. It would make more sense, and they, it would be the same if it was Winslow Junior, but it's Winslow Senior, George. If it was Manziel and Winslow Junior, it would be. Uh, Really fun. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. They don't get my jokes. So, hey, Bill, since y'all have to tell us if it smells like, what was it? Bad? Nathaniel, you will decide the remainder of this draft. I'm going to call you Nate because it's easier to type. I can't type clock, but you know what I meant. Nate. <laughs> yeah, Sean Lee and Mark Rippin. Two good choices for the last two picks, man. Yeah. Rippon was really pretty uh, involved. I mean, he obviously was MVP that year at mm -hmm. Super Bowl, and and I mean, he was he quarterbacked them for two or three years, yeah. three or four years. I, I know, know a lot of people that would take either That's one of those good. first. Absolutely. So Sean Lee. Sean and of course, Lee. Sean Lee, as, as Dane said, is just a uh, that's Nathan. There you go, Nathan, and um, a Super Bowl MVP quarterback going at the last spot. That's an idea. Mark Rippon goes to Thomas P I R. There you go, Thomas, getting the Rippon jersey. That is our final list. We've got just a few minutes. Um, wow. Let me uh, look at our site. I'll put it on the screen here, guys. Refresh it. Looks like we have six, six spots and seven left in the box busting round table. So that's up next. Put the list back on the screen. We'll stop the video, guys, and we'll be right back. Thanks. <laughs> 